Does that make a traditional business owner a, a stupid decision, being one of those, a stupid decision? No. It doesn't. Does that make college a bad thing? No. So not everyone will go to the top of network marketing, but anybody can. You don't have to have a particular pedigree in order to be able to go to the top here. Thank God, because I would have never had a shot. <laughs> no shot. I barely escaped high school. C minus student. They had to negotiate that last semester. For a high school. For a high school. We want to keep them, so we got to go. <laughs> when I walked across the stage, I got an empty little folder. Because they, they were still talking about whether they go in there. go in there, swear to God. No college. I went to one semester of community college. Once, I have two credits. One, two credits. So, sorry, 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 sorry. I, took, I started with four classes, found out you could drop them, they didn't care as often. I went from 16 credits down to eight. I had a 2.0 GPA, my official record. Eight credits to my name. No plans to finish. This is awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> That's what I got. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing that I want you to understand. Network marketing, what it does is it provides an opportunity. Come in? That's oh. what it provides. Oh, you're giving okay, a I'm chance. From the back. I mean, text you me have back. no right to success. No matter what any of the candidates will tell. <laughs> this political cycle. You have no right to success. It's not what this country was built on. Come on. But... What this, what this country provides is opportunity for everybody. And what network marketing provides, in my opinion, is the best choice for an entrepreneurially driven person to have an entry point into becoming an entrepreneur and learning how to become an entrepreneur, growing into an entrepreneur. The best chance of any of the options that are out there. Mm -hmm. Think about what the options are. Traditional business, $65,000, okay? You have to have expertise, you have to have a product idea, you have to have experience. You have to have the money, okay? And you have to quit your job and put your whole family at risk in order typically to start that business, typically, okay? That's tough. You can buy a franchise. Anybody in here ever bought a franchise? Anyone? Ever bought a franchise? Hey, Cynthia, here. So this person has, Cynthia has, few people have. Franchising, you get a little bit more proven chance for success, but franchising, franchises are expensive, typically. Okay, so that's another option. What's a third option for entrepreneurship? You could be an investor. What, what's the one thing you have to have to, to start investing? Money. How many investors have you known or heard about in your life that don't have money anymore? <laughs> because something out of their control, an investment that they made out of, outside of their control went sideways and all of a sudden they're underwater. That's an option. What else is there? Sales. It's kind of an entrepreneurship thing. You start at zero every day, but it's an entrepreneurship. You know, some people work in an office and say, I'm tired of work. I'm, I'm tired of having a boss. I'm going into sales. I control my own hours. I control my own pace. Hot bike up. Well, he's laughing. You've done this. Nah. And even high 